My involvement in the nursery business was really almost by accident. <laughs> I met a guy at a party in Davis. He said they were interested in starting a small nursery. That's because of the little Our first crop was 20,000 trees, and we only sold 10,000 of them. So I still know where those trees are. And it's just grown steadily since then. The nursery grows maybe 15 or 20 different commercial conifer species. And so we've been producing around 20 million trees a year here for the last couple of years. Often it is to replace either fire damaged or after logging. Every need in the forest is the same, whether it's a thousand acres or five acres. It's still a hole in the forest that somebody wants to fill. And so we try to remember that every single lot that we grow is important to the person that you're growing it for. And actually, I'm pretty amazed at the landowners themselves. When they're planting a seedling, they're making a commitment really beyond their lifetime in most cases. I really enjoy working outdoors. Our work produces a renewable product that everybody needs. A lander would need to go through a reforestation process for planting trees after a harvest. Other reason would be wildfire or stand destroying insects. There's a real unique relationship between foresters and the landowners they work for and the nurseries that grow their seedlings in that we both have the same focus of producing something that will be around for a long, long time. A professional forester that's experienced with reforestation projects uh, helps in putting a plan together. It's, it's a multi-year plan with several steps. And the first one is to use native local seed that is ripe, which means you need to monitor the cone crop and pick it at just the right time. The other element is you want it to be collected from a tree that has good genetic traits to pass on. You want it to be from the proper elevation and zone so that seed is adapted to the site, both in climate and the proper species. So if you can get good seed from the proper location, that's half the battle. The best route for a landowner is to use a reputable RPF. They know how to get the right seed. Second step is to take that seed and have it grown into good quality seedlings that are small enough to easily plant with a hoe dad, but still sturdy enough to withstand the elements and to have good root growth potential. The objective of the seedling growing is to have a seedling that grows very rapidly when it's planted. And so that the whole purpose of the program is designed to create that type of seedling every single year, regardless of the changes in the growing conditions. The third step is to prepare the site for planting, and the most important element of that is to control the vegetation that would be competing with that young seedling for the very limited soil moisture in our Mediterranean climate. During planting season, our crews are out there, rain or shine, after we've received the seedlings from the nursery, First thing we do is inspect them to make sure they're high quality and everything's looking good. And then the fourth step is to plant them properly with well-trained crews under proper planting techniques. One of the key aspects is to make sure that they scalp down to mineral soil so no material other than soil gets into the planting hole. The seedling is planted straight down and at proper spacing. And the fifth step is to do follow-up control and monitoring for insects, animals, and weeds that might be harming the seedlings. There has to be an element of trust because these activities have to be done correctly. Each link in the chain and, and any link breaks and we have failure. Over the course of my 35-year career in reforestation, We've seen dramatic improvements in survival rates due to improvements in practices and what we've learned. So it's extremely satisfying to go see a place that was planted 30 or 40 years ago and see the trees get very large and, 
And actually the most amazing part is how much it alters the landscape. And when you, you plant them and come back 35 years later and it's um, these forests and big tall, 50, 60 feet tall trees. 